Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon and let's have a look at some forecasting and doing predictions for time series data. So here are some key ideas. We start with our data, how much data we may have, and then the data and um, the model will predict usually for two years after our data ends. So we will need to make sure first of all that we round any predictions appropriately. Okay, and so that means if, for example, I was measuring, I had data about people's heights and that was measured in centimetres, then I'd probably round to the nearest centimetre. Possibly one decimal places to the nearest millimetre, but certainly no more than that. If I'm talking about money and I'm talking about millions of dollars, I might round to the nearest hundred thousand. So you've just got to think about what was the appropriate level of rounding to do. Now I just want to focus for a moment on the actual prediction part of it itself. If I'm predicting ahead tomorrow, think about how accurate I might do a prediction for tomorrow. Now think about tomorrow two years from now, how accurate is that prediction? And if we compare those two, what we will find is that if I am predicting close to where the data is, there is only a small amount of variation that I would expect to see. If I'm predicting two years away, there is a much greater amount of variation in those predictions. So what I've just added to the diagram there are something called prediction intervals. And as our predictions go on, these intervals get wider and wider, taking into account that we will be more and more uncertain the further away our prediction is. Now with the graph that um, is drawn, one thing that you will notice is that it won't draw the prediction intervals like that. Instead what it does is this, it does like a little bit of shading. And you'll notice that the shading gets wider as time goes on. Okay, so we'll get so that's what'll happen is that there'll be some shading that increases as time goes on. So I want you to bear in mind this key idea there. Make a prediction at a point, give me an interval, and know that the further away into the future that you are predicting, the more uncertainty you have. Lots of things can change in the future.